Here's problem 25.3. A particle charged 2 millicoulombs, moving in a region where only electric forces act on it, has a kinetic energy of 5 joules at point A. The particle subsequently passes through point B, which has an electric potential of plus 1.5 kilovolts relative to point A. Determine the kinetic energy of the particle as it moves through point B. Let's visualize what's going on here. Here's point A, and we've got a charge, positive charge, of 2 millicoulombs at point A. And then we're going to have a point B, and we know that we have a kinetic energy at A of 5 joules. We also know that the potential at B is 1.5 kilovolts higher than it is at A. So in other words, our change in potential, which is our potential at B minus our potential at A, is equal to 1500 volts. That's a given. So, we're interested in finding what is our kinetic energy at B. Well, since we know the, the change in potential, Let's find our change in potential energy. Change in potential energy would be the charge times the change in potential. So in this case, that would be 2 millicoulombs times 1,500 volts. And so that would be 1.5 kilovolts times 2 milli, so that's going to be 3 joules. We know that uh, the change in kinetic energy plus the change in potential energy should equal zero because there's no energy added to this situation. All of our energy is going to just be redistributed. So our change in kinetic energy will be equal to the negative change in potential energy or negative 3 joules. The change in kinetic energy is our final kinetic energy, kinetic kinetic energy at B minus our initial kinetic energy, the kinetic energy at A. And as we just determined, that should be equal to a negative 3. But we know our kinetic energy at A is 5, so we have that the kinetic energy at B minus 5 joules equals a negative 3. Add a 5 to both sides, and the kinetic energy at B is equal to a negative 3 plus 5, or 2 joules. So, the kinetic energy of the particle as it moves through point B is 2 joules.